What's up guys, in this video I want to talk about how you can get a perfect pack of UVs. And I say perfect lately because you'll never get 100%, but you can get like 90% or higher in terms of the area being used here. The number one goal when you're packing your UVs is to use as much space in this square as possible. And you can see I did exactly that on this one. Now the goal of this video isn't to show you every little thing about UV unwrapping that would take way too long. If you want to learn more about unwrapping and the techniques that I use personally, make sure you pick up our free unwrapping guide on our website. I cover all the different techniques I use, all the different tricks I use, how to mark seams, how to get you know efficient unwraps, all that good stuff. It's totally free and you can get it on our website link in the top of the description. It's a really good complement to this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is what the original unwrap looked like. A lot of empty space not being used. And then you're going to see after I optimized it, we had something like this. Now this is totally going to vary depending on your model. If you have a more complex or, you know, hard edge model, you might have different results. It might pack better up front. But you're going to see I have like a lot of circular pieces and round pieces here. And oftentimes when you have those types of pieces, you're going to have a lot of work that you can do to make the pack even more efficient. The best idea here is to make sure all your islands are as rectangular as possible. So what I'm going to do is just, um, I have two texture sets here, so I'm just going to work with this one for demonstration. So pretend I just finished unwrapping this, right? And this is my default unwrap, and you're going to see a lot of empty space here we could be using. And you're also going to notice we have a lot of like, um, kind of like rotated and skewed and kind of like curvy shapes here. All of these we can straighten out. Now I do use an add-on for this, it's free, and you can get it on GitHub, I'll put it on the on screen somewhere so you can see it. It's called UV Squares, and basically what this add-on will do is it will allow you to straighten out these islands. There might be another tool for it, I don't know if there is, let me know, I've just always used this for several years now. But basically what you can do is you can go around to these circular pieces, right? And as long as they're split up, these can easily be straightened out. Imagine you took, you know, this end and then this end with your fingers and you just straightened it out. It would work. But some of these are circular, like fully cyclic and connected. And in these types of situations, what you want to do is you want to go to your model and zoom into that piece. So in this case, like right here, and what you want to do is drop a seam so that way it splits it up and straightens it out. So in pretty much all the circular pieces, I put at least one seam to split it. And honestly, you don't have to do it for every single one. I mean, a few circles are fine here and there, but it's just always a good idea. Now, some of these already have a seam and it's just not straightening out for whatever reason, which is fine. But, you know, I always recommend going to these circular pieces that are cyclic and adding a seam to straighten them out. But I've already done that off camera to save time. So what we want to do after we've done that, whether they're circles or not, what you want to do is find any curvy unwraps kind of like this and you want to straighten them. So basically, I could just go around here and press the L key to all these little curvy pieces, right? Now, they have to be strips of quads. If they are not strips of quads, it will not straighten out properly. The end gons will not straighten. So that is one of the benefits of using quad topology in certain areas of your mesh. You can always retopologize it, or um, oftentimes it's really not that big of a deal. I don't bother, but what I will say is that if you have strips of quads, they will straighten out. So... That's one of the benefits of using quads there. So um, generally what I do, I found a few bugs of this tool, but I generally do a few pieces at a time. I just go in here. You have to make sure you turn off the sync island select, select everything, and then go to two grid by shape. And that'll actually straighten them out. Now, the more you straighten these pieces out, the more they'll be able to be packed efficiently inside the square. Now, we're just going to keep going around here and literally just, um, you know, selecting the pieces that could easily be straightened all these curvy ones. They don't have to be circular necessarily. They could just be straight, but have like a slight bend to it. So literally, I'm just going around to all these and just pressing the L key to straighten them out. You don't have to get every single one. Honestly, it would probably be overkill if you did, but I always recommend getting at least the ones taking up too much space. So like these, for example, we can go ahead, straighten them. Sometimes this tool bugs out. I don't know why, but generally I just undo it a few times and it ends up working. So if anyone knows how to fix that, let me know. But yeah, all I'm doing is going around here incrementally and just straightening them. So I'm just about done with these. I got all these pieces right here. Go ahead and straighten this out. This one seems to be bugging out for some reason. Sometimes you might have a 
accidental end gone somewhere which can kind of mess with things but just deselect it and you'll be fine then just kind of go around here finish it up I think I got most of them now you want to be careful because sometimes pieces that look like they're full of quads might actually have an end gone in there and if I try to straighten it it won't work you're gonna see it kind of messes up so uh, always be careful with those sometimes you might just accidentally select end gones without even noticing it so um, I'm pretty sure we're just about finished here so I'll just wrap this up off camera and you might have some minor distortion pieces that you miss and things like that but you know for the really minor small pieces if I have an issue here and there I don't bother you know trying to fix every little thing because it just takes way too much time and effort for something no one's gonna ever see so mainly these big ones are the ones I'm concerned about that I can quickly straighten alright so I'm gonna wrap up these last few and then we should be good to go this one is causing problems, so I'm just going to deselect it. Straighten these out. Okay. Then what I want to do is I want to pack everything together. Notice now we have a lot more, you know, vertical and horizontal pieces. These will pack in the square here a lot better. So even if you don't necessarily have round pieces on your mesh, you're always going to have some sort of slight bending pieces in your square that you just um, can easily straighten out. So at this point, what I want to do, you can use Blender's native packer. I use UV Packmaster 2 because the algorithm's a lot better. So whatever you're using, just go to your packing tool. Um, make sure if you're using UV Packmaster, normalize islands is turned on, which will basically make the TD, the textile density, uniform all the way around. And then all you have to do is click on pack and just give it a second. And you're going to see this solution is so much better compared to this one right here. Just by straightening out those islands, we got a result like this. Now, I don't know how it is with Blender's Packer, but in UV Packmaster, some people are asking, do you get padding? Yes, you do. Every single piece has a little bit of space there, which can really help with like texture bleeding in softwares like Substance Painter, for example. So you always want a little bit of padding, but I found that UV Packmaster actually has all that set up for us very well. And you're just going to see, compared to the before, look at the size of the squares before they're a lot bigger than after they're a lot smaller and that's just gonna get us a lot better resolution altogether so that's really it guys I see a lot of people you know unwrapping and just you know they, they can pack it but they don't actually go through the steps of straightening out the islands that can be straightened out it's so important and is gonna save you a lot of space so make sure you do that you're gonna get very clean unwraps as long as you go through that process if you want to actually learn about unwrapping and UV in general Make sure you pick up our unwrapping guide on our website. It's free. It's pretty comprehensive. It doesn't show every little thing, but it shows you exactly what you need to know when it comes to, you know, unwrapping. So all the main stuff. I hope the video helped you out here. It's going to help you get a lot better um, resolution for your mesh when you're trying to texture it. So make sure you go through this process. It takes a bit of time, yes, but it's worth it. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.